Hello and welcome back to the Experts 11 Road to Glory series and in the last part we lost 2-0 to Roma Eterna in our second league game of the season. In this episode we'll be taking a break from the league as the Ultimate League Cup gets underway for us. It's the second round of the first leg of a game against Scousers. The game is played over two legs and whoever has the most goals over the two legs goes through to the third round. Pretty self-explanatory really, so the team I've gone with is Aratani and Goal. A back four of Gorga, Roddick, Silka and Van der Kreese, with Silka making his first start for the club. Kanamasas, Kivyakovsky, Kayola, Tilbe and Hargreaves in midfield, and Sammy McQuiston as the lone man up front. Scouser's team of oldies meanwhile line up in a 4-4-2 formation, with Vazquez and Goal, a back four of Crane, Digas, Millet and Lazar, a midfield of Wilkes, Robredo, Stanku and Castro, and a front two of Daz and Eduardo. This is a very skilled team, but due to the two-way average age rule, it is likely they will suffer a large drop in performance, so they may actually be much weaker than their skill level suggests. So let's go straight to Anfield Road for the match. For the second game in a row, Knights of Sidonia are in the yellow strip due to a clash of scousers of its red. The captains are Angelo Robredo and Sammy McQuiston, and the referee is Tony Nolan, and the game gets in the way... Now! And straight off the bat we have an injury for Scousers here. It's Alessandro Eduardo who's been slightly injured. And he's coming off for a youngster, so this is going to reduce their average age. It's going to make things a bit dangerous for us. Oh, there's a chance here. We break away. It's Rufus Ronick who's trying to finish the ball to keep his legs. And scores! Rufus Ronick scores his first ever goal for Mexico Sidonia. Assisted by one of our new signings in Ronaldo Caiola. What a start to this game for us. This is the first goal we've scored all season that happens to be Rufus Bullock. Simon McQuiston with a powerful shot from distance. He scores! Simon McQuiston with a long range shot from Helen Helen Stilbay's pass and it was a handball. He didn't shoot it in, he punched it in. So that is still 1-0 tonight to Sidonia, but we are on top here, lots of things. Kyola! It's the left post, so unlucky. That's three chances already and only one has been converted. There were 23 minutes into the game now, we never chance here. Silka! And it's no problem for Vasquez. 25 minutes into this game and we are 1 0 up. This is looking very comfortable for us. Scouts are offering any threat whatsoever. Sammy McQuiston! And this time he does score! Sammy McQuiston with a long range shot on the right side of the box. Assisted by Sergei Kivyakovsky. 2 0 to Knights of Sidonia. That's two away goals in this cup tie. This is looking a lot better than last season's cup tie when we went in at the first round, drew with the Gunners Jr., and then got thrashed at their place. 4 0 in terms of chances, 2 0 on the scoreline, and 60% possession compared to their 40% so of all, really. Second half getting underway now. And just two minutes in, there's a chance here. Raymond Hargreaves! Scores! Raymond Hargreaves for Maxis Leone. This is only his second start of the season. Pim van der Kreese got the assist. That goal was made entirely by the youngsters. Just shows what Skouser's old whippersnappers are missing. Shoots Sergio Kivyakovsky. Sends him just over the crossbar. Yeah. This is looking pretty comfortable now. If we can get a few more goals, that'll be great to take back to our place. So we have a very comfortable cushion and could possibly pay our reserve goalkeeper in that space, but we're not getting any more chances here at the moment. It's thinking that this is going to be the final scoreline at this rate, but... Yeah, it's coming up to full time, and that's it. However, that is not a bad thing at all. Nice and soon you get their first win of the season in all competitions. 3-0 victory over Division 6 Scousers. What a result. Welcome to, as the league hasn't been going so well so far. We should be able to progress from a cup round for the first time in our history, provided we win the home leg. And we've got a young goalkeeper in Arthur Pendragon that needs some game time. The original plan was to play this keeper in both games, however with the cup tie presenting us a very beatable opponent, that fell by the wayside in the end. Nevertheless, let's move on to the team of the week for the cup. I've decided to show the team of the week for the cup, just to show what sort of ratings players that we expect to have in a top division team should have, since every team in the Ultimate League took part in this second round, apart from those who were knocked out in the first round. As you can see, our team is a long way off what it needs to be to compete in the top division, at the moment anyway. The team of the week is Freddy Arnold with Jesus and his pandas and goal. 
a back four of Samuel Gutierrez, Jesus and his pandas, Elroy Browning, Miramadonians FC, Emilio Palson, Berlin Capitals, and Carl Svensson, IFK Gothenburg, a midfield of Ethan Boland, AC Samba, Vidal Abella, Jesus and his pandas, Octavian Stillard, Jesus and his pandas, and Stanisa Klinkech, Jesus and his pandas. And the front two is Velta Fenning, Manchester United, and Howard Boothroy, Jesus and his pandas. All of these teams, however, were playing really bad and really easy opposition, so therefore it's no surprise they didn't bother to set good tactics in order to progress, they didn't even need to. So, I wouldn't count my manager of the round for this cup round as anything special. I was just one of the few teams with an evenly matched opponent in the second leg of the cup round, so yeah. Nevertheless, that cup round gave us a few additional DVs, so let's check up on the DV. The game time was pretty welcome for a few players. Emil Silke was shot up to 11 DV, Kanji Aratani having played all three games so far was in 13 DV, and Sergio Canamassas has managed to reach 11 DV. Him van der Kreese retains his reliable growth rate with 12 DV after just three games. And that's all the DV gains I can really give for this episode, since the cup only had a few of the youngsters taking part in it. And that's it for this episode. Next episode we'll be facing Sather City in the league in our first home game of the season. If you enjoyed this video and would like regular access to new videos as they come out, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to play Expert 11 yourself, there's a link in the description below. I've been the A-Person, I'll be back this Wednesday for more Expert 11. See you guys then!